Hello, welcome back. This is Country 1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest 6 for the Android and iOS and mobile device. In the last episode, or between episodes, I went up some levels, did some job leveling. As you can see, the hero for this game only needs to master two hybrid classes in order to become a hero. So I made him a hero. I got him some gear. I mean, I didn't get anybody anything special gear-wise. Anyways, yeah, here's all of his abilities and all that stuff. He learned Zap, which is actually a spell that we're going to learn. If you didn't learn it now, you'll learn it later, but I learned it now, so oh well. Anyways, Carver, what I ended up doing with him was I uh, had him a paladin, then I turned him into a gladiator when I mastered the warrior and martial artist. Mastered that, now I'm a wizard because I need to do one more job, hybrid job class to get him to be a hero. And yeah, here's all of his abilities. Right now he's a wizard. Amos, I have him as a paladin. I had him learn a gladiator and a uh, ranger and all that good stuff. So he could be a paladin. He also became a battle master, so he had some really nice abilities. Uh, battle master is pretty awesome. They got dragon slash, uh, undead doer, um, and even metal slash. So with, uh, what's her name, Ashlyn, I made her a sage, a luminary, and now I'm working on an armamentalist. And she's got some really nice abilities herself. I'm going to be using her through the next chunk of the game. Just to change it up a little bit. And yeah, she's got a lot of nice abilities as well. Alright, now for Millie, pretty much the same path. I made her an uh, Armalentalist. So she's uh, doing that. And uh, yeah, she, I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really get any equipment. I will eventually. I will buy some gear. But yeah, so she's got some good abilities. Nevin, he's a, uh, I made him a paladin. He's a sage on Melentilis and a paladin. And, uh, after this he should be able to be a hero as well. He's got a lot of really nice abilities. Really good abilities here. And yeah, he'll be learning more. And, uh, for Gawain, I made him a paladin. He was a gladiator. He learned all the gladiator abilities, which will help us in this next area coming up and there we go and uh that's pretty much all the abilities healy honestly the only thing to note is he learned omni heal which will be very nice so keep him up keep him as your backup healer so in this episode we're going to head off to the real world uh do a little more treasure hunting and then head to a brand new area again all this is optional you don't really need to do it. Honestly, I think the next thing you have to do is go to... I think you have to go to Poseidon's Castle, if I recall correctly. I think you have to go there. That's the next thing. You have to be um, a monster or something. I, I forget. Anyways, what we want to do is head south from Wellshire. Well, actually, we don't want to head south from Wellshire. Well, we do, sort of, but... We're, pretty much what we want to do is head south and hug the coast over here. Now we got some new enemies, Water Wraith. And uh, I guess all these other guys are pretty pe perky pelican. El Dorado! But yeah, let's see, where is Boulder Toss? Let's see, where is it? Yeah, Boulder Toss is an ability that you get uh, being in level 8 Gladiator or whatever, and you, um, you're able to, it basically hits everybody for like 120 damage max, I think. It's really nice. It's like thin air, but it works more. More. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice ability. Amos has those abilities as well. And, yeah, there's the Crackle Slash, there's the Throwing Stuff. So yeah, pretty good. And oh yeah, another perk of being a hero, a hero job class, is that you uh, your HP is restored a little bit after every uh, round, which is kind of nice. And there we go. And look at that, they both learned an ability. So yeah, you just pretty much want to hug your coach over here. Go down to this river area. And we're heading over towards where Somnia is. Let's see. Oh, we got some more new enemies. Killer Waves. I think we might have fought these other guys before, but I don't remember. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's have him use the, the uh, thin air attack, and let's see where is that yeah, roundhouse kick. And for you, use harvest moon. Sure, why not? So yeah, with the hybrid ability, with the hybrid classes, every uh, class that you master, you actually get a bonus, a permanent stat boost. So for your Sage, you get extra MP. For your, um, I believe for your Battlemaster, you get attack power. I think for your Paladin, you gain um, defense. For your Luminary, you gain uh, luck. Ranger, I'm not sure, maybe Intelligence or HP. And then the other one is um, Intelligence, I guess. What would the other one? I guess hero would maybe intelligence, maybe? I don't know. Your hero, whenever you master a hero job class, that would make kind of cool if you just went up, like, they gave you plus five in every stat. That would make kind of cool. But yeah, this killer wave. He's dead. Killer wave's dead. Alright, so we're over here near Somnia. What we want to do is use Lorelei's harp and head on down into the water. I like the music. So yeah, over here we can go into a cave. Now this cave is actually filled with enemies we could have encountered earlier. Um, when we, if you remember correctly, in the real real world of Somnia. Ooh, new enemies, bloody hands. But yeah, in the real real world of Somnia, there was a a, a well there, and pretty much in the well. They, uh, they have these enemies, pretty much. And in the uh, original game, this was a great area to actually do job... <sighs> Excuse me, do job classing. Like, bring up your job classes. Like, it was a pretty good area. Honestly, I probably won't be doing too much jobbing up. Uh, until near the end of the game when I want to get everybody up to hero. Pretty much everybody but one character. I, I, and not Healy either. I'm not going to bring him up. But yeah, um, so yeah, this is underneath the uh, Somnian well. Yeah, and there are a lot of encounters here, so be prepared for some tough enemies. But it's worth it because it's treasure that we get. We get three, three things. This gold, not worth it. Mini metal, which is worth it, I guess, and then a new shield, which is worth it. Well, we got a new enemy freezing fog. Let's see, where the hell is it? There we go. Yeah, that's a nice ability sometimes. I like being able to hit everybody. It's the best. It's the best. Alright, let's keep going over here and seeing if there's a treasure. Nope. Nothing up there. Let's head back. So yeah, I'll probably be using Ashlyn for quite some time for the next big chunk of the game. Because she pretty much is a Muriel replacement. Plus we've seen Muriel enough, or Millie, or whatever. But honestly, we'll probably see... I'll probably bring her in a little later. I'll bring her back in. Maybe I'll take out Amos or something. Because there's some stuff plot-wise. There's some plot wise stuff that I want to um, have her in the group for. Alright, let's see. I want to exit the boat there. We can just head up over here. And, um, I don't think there's anything over here, but let me check. See, the thing about, oh, we got some new enemies, Dracos. Yeah, see, the thing about this area is... Let's see, where the hell is Boulder Toss? There it is. 
in the air. Yeah, roundhouse kick and lightning. But yeah, see, the thing about this is there was no uh, map in the guide for this thing. So you just gotta kind of look for yourself. Guys, that guy didn't die. All the stuff we did to him. All the disgusting things we've done to that poor creature. Hit it with rocks, lightning, and all that shit. Alright, let's keep going. Over here, we get ourselves a mini metal. Yay! Mini metals are always good. Speaking of which, I need to go and bring some back to the king. Maybe after we're done doing what we're doing in these couple areas. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, there's a slime. Let's talk to this guy. Or gal, I don't know. Might be, uh, might honestly be one or the other, I don't know. No, I have not visited Poseidon yet. Oh, he lives near there. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Felino, felonia, felon, felon, whatever. Not a, not a, not a gonna be working here anymore. All right, so we get this, and we get ourselves a power shield. Now, what is this item? It's a pretty good shield. Nice thing about it is it can be used as an item in battle to cast heal mid heal, which is nice. The old Dragon Quest 2 standby. That's right. Alright, so let's go over here. And now, if you want to get out of here quickly, rather than go all the way back, we can honestly just go over this way. And now, let me just see. Let's actually use this ability. Okay, there's no more treasure. Good. Because I didn't want to go over that other spot. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, now we're done with this area. Check it off the list of treasures that we have collected. As we are looting the world! Alright, let's rest up at the end because the next area is kind of tricky. Well, not really, but... For one character, it is. I can only hope that the one character that I have will be, uh... Will be prepared enough to take on the tasks ahead. So let's go. Alright, so we pretty much have gotten majority of the treasure. There's probably only two other spots that we're going to go to. But not right now. We're actually going to head over to the Fashion Forge. Actually, I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. But whatever, let's go inside. Alright, so what I want to do is, with the Fashion Forge here, I want to talk to this guy. And I want to add a little flair to my weapon. And what weapon would that be? That would be the Miracle Sword. I want to boost its uh, fancy faux pas thing. And there we go, we have ourselves... Style increased. And, uh... I think that's pretty much it for now. Iron masks are a good idea, uh, especially for what we're going to be doing pretty soon. This Fast and Forge is going to come into play very soon. I promise you. Anyways, um, yeah, when you, you know, see, the nice thing about this game is that it actually shows you what it looks like when you forge it. Pretty much there's like little sparklies next to it when you Fast and Forge it. In the, uh, Super Famicom version, there is nothing like that, which sucks because it's it's hard to tell. And then there's only a certain amount of items that can be forged. Anyways, what we're gonna do is head to Wellshire. Whoops. Yeah, we gotta head to Wellshire, then get in our boat, and then sail south. 
there's a landmass to the south that we need to head to. We got new enemy, Poison Evil. Evil. Yeah, and lightning's just, lightning's great. Terrible lightning. Yeah, so it's better use that on them, the wind element, than uh, the rock thing, because the rock thing counts as physical attack. And yeah, we don't want to go over here yet. We will later. So directly south is where we want to head, because it'll lead us somewhere good, and we want to head somewhere good. Who doesn't, right? There's a little shrine. Oh, we got another new enemy, Mallow, Mallow Lantern. And we also have Low Jinx, but we already saw these guys. Oh, we might have seen both of them. Yeah, and as you can see, the uh, the sword does even uh, even cooler animation, which I think is really cool. When Carver attacks, yeah, look at that. That's cool. There we go, dead. Dead, 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 dead. Alright, so where is this shrine gonna take us? Or where is this... Again, I guess it does never get old. Oh, look, game must have seen. And we head into the well. And in the well, we head down to the dream world. Or up, I guess. Technically. Yeah, but if we go underwater, does that mean that we'll fall into the lower world? That's something that I always thought about. And Ashlyn talks about how maybe she was a mermaid in her former life. So if we come over here... Let's press the button. And we have opened the floodgates. Sledge, huh? Yeah, combatants. Yeah, Amos doesn't like losing. I don't know. I don't know why they closed the floodgates in the first place. So now this area is open to us, so let's zoom over to somewhere where I can fly over here. Alright, now we gotta fly over there, so we just gotta head directly up and then left. Or left mostly. Flying bed. Who doesn't love a flying bed? Alright, so here we are, over here. So let's go through the floodgates. If I can get... It. There we go. And let's see what the hell this place is. Holy crud, it's a slime place. Sledge is sleek at secret slimeopolis. Okay, so apparently we're in the slime arena. Welcome to the Slime Arena, where we will need our finest slime warriors to do battle. And that is Gawain, and hopefully he is ready to do battle. But before we do battle, we must talk to everybody here. Yeah, and, it, and honestly, it's better to do, have Gawain do it, just because... One, he's the first slime that you get, right? He's fairly average in the abilities that he gets. And yeah, here you can actually add members or, or lead members or whatever you want to do. But yeah, so he's fairly good average. He's got decent stats and everything. 
He's really good. Um, there's another monster that you could use, but I don't think you can get him for a little while longer. But yeah, it's just better to use this guy. Yes, I'm here to enter the slime fights. But yeah, you can only have a slime enter, although technically Gawain... I guess he is a slime rider. That doesn't mean that he is a slime... He's a slime knight. But yeah, this is a uh, optional area that we can go. Uh, yeah, I did hear the rumors. I want prizes. Wonderful prizes. Oh, nice. Well, that's good, I guess. Holy crap, look at that guy there, huh? Look at that giant slime thing there. That's a big gold statue. I can't tell. Sometimes I can't tell slimes apart. Blues are blues, and reds are reds. And... Yeah, you think I don't know if hammers are really that big. Yeah, you pretty much have to train your slime to be a uh, a killing machine. But yeah, I remember I had trouble in the uh, Super Famicom version because the, um, I think because whatever job you had your slime on, um, pretty much, uh, they took like a certain, like, AI to it, so you had to change your AI, I had to change my AI, to, I remember, the Battle Master, otherwise he would always do some weird abilities as a paladin. I'm honestly just having what's his name on as a paladin just so that I can have him have extra defense and better uh, MP too because he's going to need the MP so yeah if you can tell we're going to be having um, our slime enter the arena and we're going to hopefully do the whole thing in one video which is not going to be this one but the next one Yeah, he is Grease Lightning. I'm gonna make you crap thunder. Eat lightning and crap thunder. But yeah, over here is where you can actually, um, you can enter your slime, which I'm not going to right yet. I'm gonna just continue to explore. And over here is the prize counter, where after you win, you pick up a prize. There are eight rounds, I believe. And, uh, they each get tougher, as you could tell. And yeah, this guy's Sledge. He loves slimes, and he pretty much, uh... He has a, he has a slime called Hammer, who is the baddest of the bad slimes. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have our slime in there over there. Let's go, let's go get him. This place is cool. I like it. All right, so let's uh, bring Gawain into the group. Gawain the Green Knight, maybe. I wonder if that's the play on words they're thinking about. Anyways, let's head in there and see if I can actually go in and. One thing I do want to do is give him the Miracle Sword, because when he attacks, if he uses his weapon to attack, it'll actually gain some MP or HP back, and that's always good for this area. So let's go downstairs. What the hell, I can't go in? I gotta have just him alone? Come on. Wouldn't there be a thing where it's like, okay, I'll leave you alone. Whatever. But yeah, he's the best one to get because he's the one you get earliest. He's decent stats and this, that, and the other. Honestly, I would go with Gawain. 
if you're gonna do it. But if not, I mean, you could use, uh, there's some other slimes that you'll get. Healy, probably not the best, just due to the fact that, I mean, he's not as strong as Gawain is with the baseline stats. Yeah. These guys are ready for... These guys, it's kind of nice. They have their own little village thing here. The Goober is a new rookie slime. And that is Hammer's house. Yeah, Goober is a rookie. He's a rookie. Mimi. Mimi. Mimi! Mimi! That's right, uh, that's uh, is that Beaker? Beaker? Mimi! And Professor Honeydew, maybe? I can't believe these slimes talk and stuff. Do they only talk because we're ta I'm talking to them as a slime? Yeah, you have a poisonous ooze. Watch out, Grim! It's a poisonous ooze! Yep. So we can't actually enter the arena right yet. But you can hear all nasty creatures in there. Alright, let's check the rest of this area out. This reminds me of uh, Eden with Tipo. You know? He got stuck inside of a thing. Never to leave. In a big tower, I think it was, too. And we get ourselves some slime armor, which is fairly decent armor for your slime companions, although I don't think Gawain can actually equip it, so. Let's head over here first. This is Hammer's house. There's a dwarf in here? How did he get in here? Oh. So he's stuck. That's kind of funny. We got a mini metal and another mini metal. Very nice. And Hammer's chair is all nice too. Look at that. It's like the Iron Throne of, of slime chairs. I think that was it, but I I honestly missed going in the upper left house, so I'll have to come back. Wow. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to go and take on the Slime Arena with uh, Gawain, and hopefully we'll be able to do it. If not, then I'll have to come back later, but hopefully I'll be able to do it all in one video. So, yeah, this has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you in the next episode. Slime Arena time. Bye-bye.